Good morning. It's Wednesday, halfway through the week here. All right, we are going to review a lot today. You're going to have a quiz on Friday over the last five units that we've done here. So we're just going to review today and uh, tomorrow, practice the, the different floss rule, the k sound, the final stable syllable, the ch sound, all these things that we've been working on. So as a review, really quick, we have reviewed the ch sound. Most of the time, the ch sound is going to be spelt with a ch. Um, ch, chair, ch, that's our normal way, can be in the initial, medial, or final position. But we also have one other way, tch, which, ch. This makes the exact same sound as this sound, but we spell it TCH. The T is silent, but the rule with this is it's after a short vowel. It has to be immediately after a short vowel. Um, it can be in the medial position or the final position. You'll never start a word with TCH. All right, another thing we've gone over is our final stable syllables. We have th four of these that we've gone over. <clears throat> this is B-L-E, bubble, bull. When we code a final stable syllable, we put the bracket around this, right here around the syllable. We accent the syllable in front of it. Uh, the E is silent, okay? Next one, D-L-E, candle, dull. All right. Next one, P-L-E, dimple, pull. And the last one, um, F-L-E, ruffle, full. Okay, there are other uh, final stable syllables that we will go over. We're just, these are the first ones that we've been reviewing here. All right, the other thing we've gone over is all the different ways we can spell k. All right, so we learned earlier first, let's see if we can review it here, that if you have the k sound in the middle uh, I mean, excuse me, at the beginning of a word or in the middle of a word, you have two choices. It's going to either be spelled with a C or a K, all right? We've kind of been doing this little chart here. C is the way that we spell the K sound most of the time, all right? Um, but the uh, way we remembered it was if there is an A, O, or U, or a consonant after the K sound, we spell it with C, which that's going to count most of our words. You have all the consonants, A, O, and U. Uh, we use a K when an I or an E comes right after it. And we drew the little picture of the kite, remember, and the key, help us to remember that. And it flies in the sky because we do sometimes, there's not many words, but we, the Y after it also goes with K sometimes. All right. Then we learned uh, the final k sound. We had two different ways to do that. And that was with C or CK, okay? CK is with a one syllable word right after a short vowel as in the word truck, all right? T-R-U-C-K. Uh, we use a C when it's a two or more syllable word after the short vowel. And our keyword for that was traffic. Okay? They all have the same sound, but we have different ways we use them in, different, in the words, depending on where they are and what letters are, are right after them. Um, and then we also went over the floss rule. The floss rule... Here, do you still see this? We have our floss rule. It's in a one syllable word right after a short vowel. If you have the letters F or L or an S, you double those letters. So, like fluff. Short vowel, one syllable, you double that F. Sass, short 
Uh, double that. Uh, let's see. Will. Short vowel, you double the L. We also talked how that would work for the Z, like in buzz. All right. So we've gone over quite a few different rules this week. So we want to practice that. Uh, we're going to read over our reading practice here on page 47. I want you to pause right quick, and um, I want you to go in here, <clears throat> um, and I want you to look for the final stable syllables. So that could be dull, bull, full, or bull. Um, I want you to code them with the bracket, silent E, accent the first syllable, um, and they, looks like you have one in each, at least one in each sentence. So I want you to code those right quick and then pause it and then come back and we'll read these together. All right, great, let's read these. Number one, at sunset, the ranch hand hops into the saddle and trots off to the west. Number two, Rick can't handle the bundles and stumbles on the steps. Number three, Pam grabs a black pen and scribbles on the tablet. Number four, Sam dribbles past the basket, stops, and drops in a jump shot. Number five, when she is in her crib, the infant babbles. Number six, I have a hunch that we can sample the apples. Number seven, will the men huddle if they can, excuse me, will the men huddle if they fumble? Number eight, it is simple to paddle the raft on the pond. Number nine, the humble man lit the candle with a match. And number 10, did Ted scramble into his trundle bed at 10? All right, great job. All right, we're going to go over page 48 now. These are um, just some short words, some of which contain the same letters. And it's the, these words are easily, can be misread um, if you're not really paying attention. And so we want to just kind of, uh, go over these. So we're going to go side to side. All right. Can you see that? We'll do it like this, but you hopefully have made a copy of this. All right. Net 10, top pot, butt tub, split, spilt. Those look very similar there. Grad, grab, dud, did, stop, spot, did, dad, Left, felt, brad, drab, sit, silt, slit. Good job. All right. We're going to review a little bit of what we've been doing. So let me erase this right quick. Let me just pause this. All right. We're going to review these. Uh, when we have the sounds within a parenthesis, that is what it sounds like. It's not how it's spelled. It's just what it sounds like. So I want you to be able to sound those out, but we are going to write uh, how you actually spell it following our rules. Okay? So the first one here, what does this sound like to you? Crumble. Crumble. All right, we're gonna look at how we would spell that, but we can't spell it just like it looks here, all right, because we have some rules here. Um, so how would we spell the initial k sound? All right, there's an R right after it, so we're gonna spell it with a C. So C-R-U-M. And then how do we, this is bull, sounds just like that, but how do we spell that final stable syllable bull? B-L-E. So we would spell crumble like this. All right, then let's look at this one. Short I, itch, itch. The word itch, like you itch your skin, but we have a spelling pattern that this follows. So how would we spell this properly? We have a uh, short vowel and you have the ch sound right after it. So how would we spell that? You would have to spell it with the T-C-H, okay? because it's right after the short vowel. All right, we have this word here, quill, all right? How would we spell that? You have the qu, 
How do we spell qu? Those two letters that always go together. Q U. Q U. We have the short sound I. And then we have an L. Is that how we spell it? Or is there does this follow the floss rule? All right. It's a one syllable word. It's right after a short vowel. We have the letter L. That's one of those letters. So yes, we would have to double the L. Even though you don't go quill a little, 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 you know, we just say quill, but that is our spelling rule, the floss rule that we double the L. All right. Then we come to this. Let's look at this. Skeptic. All right. We have that k sound in there twice. So we got to think about that rule, right? So we have this one here. There's a short E right after it. We, we talked about if an I or E is after the k sound, we spell it with a K. So you would have S, K, skep, and then we have tick is the second syllable. So our final k sound is either spelt with a CK or a K. CK goes with one syllable words. C goes with two syllable words after a short vowel. Skeptic is two syllables, short vowel. So we would spell that with the C. So these can be some difficult patterns we have to learn, rules we have to learn. But you are perfectly capable of doing that, I know. All right, let's do an auditory practice now. I'm going to say a word, and it's going to be covering these rules, so let's, we'll talk it through, okay? So, if I said the word, and these are all nonsense words, so they're not going to be words you know. You just have to think of the rules. All right, if, we, if I said blasts, how would we spell that? B-L-A-S-S. -S. We double that S because it's right after a short vowel. It's the floss rule, and it's a one-syllable word. All right, what about smick? Smick, it has a final k sound. How do we spell that? We would spell that with a CK at the end because it's one syllable right after a short vowel. What about undul? Undul. You have that final stable spell syllable. Dull, how do we spell that final stable syllable? D-L-E. All right, what about strup? Strup. How do we do the, those, the sound at the beginning? Strup. S-T-R. S-T-R. All right. What about bamble? Bamble. We have a final stable syllable there at the end. How would we spell it? B-L-E. B-L-E. Even though that E is silent. All right. What about glomtick? Glomtick. We have that final K sound. C or C-K. Two syllables. It's right after a short vowel, so it would be with a C. All right. Gliss. Gliss. That's floss rule. Two S's. One syllable word after a short vowel, two S's. What about swinch? Swinch. We have that ch sound at the end. Is it T-C-H or C-H? If you said C-H, you're correct because there's an N right after that short vowel sound. So you only put T-C-H if there is no other letters after the short vowel. Swinch. So it would just be C-H. All right, what about slatch? There's another ch sound. Slatch. You hear that a ah, short vowel. Is there any other sounds right after that? There's not, so you would spell it T-C-H. T-C-H. All right. Um, <laughs> we are going to do... We're going to split up the spelling practice... We're going to do half of it today and half of it tomorrow because we're also practicing um, other things beside that. So get you a piece of paper and a pencil. Um, pause your video if you need to do that right quick. And we're going to do seven words and a sentence right now. Tomorrow we'll do the other words. All right. Number one, sample. Sample. Number two, tumble. Tumble. Number three, simple, simple. Number four, bundle, bundle. Number five, dwindle, dwindle. Number six, ramble, 
ramble. Number seven is a nonsense word, imble, imble. Okay, and you have one dictation sentence. Um, okay. The humble man lit the candle with a match. Make sure you write this as a complete sentence. The humble man lit the candle with a match. One more time. The humble man lit the candle with a match. That's nine words. All right, if you need more time, just pause your video and then I'm gonna write them here on the board. All right, here's your words. Sample. These are all final stable syllables. Tumble. Simple. Bundle. Dwindle. Ramble. And the nonsense word, imble. All right. And then we have our dictation sentence. Capital T. The humble man lit the candle Throw you off. Candle with a match. Okay, period. Make sure you have that punctuation. Okay, this is important. Capital letter. My goodness, I forgot my L here. <laughs> you see, we make mistakes. It's okay. Humble. Make sure we get that right. So we had the BLE there. We had the candle DLE there. And make sure you did the TCH here for the CH. Okay? Just check your work. If you missed any, just make corrections. And tomorrow we will do the remainder of the words. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Actually, there's one more thing. Sorry. On page 49, which I'm going to have to make sure is on the download. Um, you're going to practice these words. So again, when you see this, we did this earlier. When you see this in parentheses, this is what it sounds like. It's not how it is spelled. So you want to pronounce it like it is sound. So this first one, k a l k u l. okay? How would we spell kul? You're gonna spell it here, all right? So I'll do that one with you. You have um, the k at the beginning of a sentence. There's a U after it, so I know that's a C. Short U. And then the L is going to have two L's because of the floss rule. All right? So we, this is what it sounds like in parentheses. Cull. And then I think, okay, how would I spell that? And you're going to spell it here. So you're going to pronounce these, and then you're going to spell them here. Okay? And then I, I think I'll go over this with you tomorrow. So finish this today, and then we'll go over it, the corrections tomorrow, okay? Now, I'm telling you bye for real.